Hello and welcome back to a new episode from us here at Best TV. Today, home batteries. What are they? What can you do with them? And how can they even make your money? Let's find out. My name is Martin Lee. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already and you like this video, hit subscribe and the like button and do leave me a comment below so I know your thoughts. Okay, so what's a home battery? Let's do a bit of background on what I mean when I say that. I'm not talking about the things that you put into your remote control or a bedside clock. I'm talking about home batteries that are a lot bigger. Maybe one or two kilowatt hours of stored energy. That's small though. Maybe most people would have a 10, 20, 30 kilowatt hour or more home battery. Another difference is the batteries are dedicated to one particular use. I mean, you don't plug a home battery into your fridge or freezer. The batteries integrate with your whole home, so the energy stored in the batteries can be used for any purpose that you see fit. Now there's loads of companies out there these days that will offer you a whole home solution with hardware and software. Companies like Enel, a BESS, Battery Energy Storage Solution, can be huge in size. They can support and power whole commercial buildings, heck even the grid. But today, we're talking about home batteries and domestic use. I reckon the most famous example is the Tesla Powerwall. These days it's 13.5 kilowatt hours of stored energy in that sleek rectangular panel. You can stack 10 of them together. There's an app that's really good and lets you monitor what's going on. Another popular brand here in the UK, at least for car chargers, is MyEnergy. And they launched a new battery called the Libby. That's five kilowatt hours. You can stack four of them together. And a great thing about having an ecosystem is you can connect with all the other products that you might own with their own app, which is why I have a Solar Edge battery. Not recommending it, it's just another name out there, but I had a Solar Edge inverter with my solar panels, and so the battery hooks into that system and it's all in one. So now we have a good understanding of what a home battery is, let's look at benefits and uses. Let's quickly look at storing renewable energy. As great as wind and solar are, they are intermittent. There's great days, the wind is blowing, the sun is shining, and you're making an excess. Having a home battery allows you to store that excess for a later time. When the grid has an excess of renewables, the price of electricity often comes down. And so households can buy that cheaper electricity, store it themselves, and use it later when the price goes up. A lot of people use home battery storage to harness their own solar energy. I do. Some people have solar panels on their roof that produce more than they need during the day. And rather than send it back to the grid for my neighbors to use, I store it myself and use it when it's nighttime. Batteries can be a great way to save money on the price of electricity. Now, maybe it is for you, but certainly here, very expensive energy at the moment, particularly at peak times on a variable tariff but it can be cheap overnight when demand is low. So people program their batteries to charge up while they're sleeping. I do, now that it's winter time and I'm not generating as much with my panels, I recharge from the grid when it's cheaper. I have an overnight tariff and I use that during the day so I'm effectively paying the cheaper rate per unit. Let's forget about money and talk about home batteries avoiding blackouts. Some places never have power cuts. I can't remember the last one we did, but there's loads of places around the world who have instability in their grid. If you have a five kilowatt hour battery, that can keep your house running on a separate circuit, maybe the fridge, the freezer, essential lights, maybe heating as well, or something to start the boiler. Let's say that you need 500 watts of power. Well, you could power your house for 10 hours until the grid is restored. You could even be more frugal and be running for days and days. From the perspective of grid operators, batteries help them manage the demands of everyone they serve. You see, it's a big job to predict how much electricity will be needed, in what region, at what times. The amount of electricity needed fluctuates. Obviously, there can be a surge during ad breaks, halfway through the World Cup. And so that fluctuation at certain times of the day is called a demand curve. It peaks in the morning, and it peaks when people get home and start cooking their evening meal. Those peaks are the most expensive as well. And so you can use a home battery during those times to not use power from the grid. It flattens the demand curve and that makes the grid more predictable and more efficient. That makes it cheaper for everyone. As we seek to get rid of fossil fuels as quickly as possible, envisage what things could look like if all new build homes had a, a battery. Take the Tesla Powerwall, it's 13.5 kilowatt hours. The average UK home uses 
about just over four and a half thousand kilowatt hours per year. That's just under 13 kilowatt hours a day. So in theory, a home battery of that size charged up on clean, free solar power during the day would keep you going all day and all night. And what I'd love to see is fully electrified homes powered by renewable energies and ultra low energy equipment. The highest demand on a house is often heating and hot water. So how about you put in a very highly efficient heat pump in a well insulated home the heating demands are very low. Heat pumps can also be used to heat your hot water tank as well. So your heating demands are met during the night from your home battery. You wake up to a warm house and a full tank of hot water and you haven't touched the grid. So that's enough from me today. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of home batteries. I have one myself and I think it's a great way of saving money as we transition to a cleaner, more efficient, healthier grid. But I wanna know what you think. Leave a comment below. Do you have a home battery? Would you like one? How big do you need one? Do you need one to save yourself when there's a power cut or is it just to save money? And if you do have one, how's it working out for you? Well, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.